Okay, hi and welcome back. We're in Agridulce today. Agridulce is just off the A92 motorway in between Osuna and Estepa. A cute little house, narrow but quite deep. Very good deal as well. Got a nice typical Sevillian tiled vestibule. As you can see here, all new electrics, plumbing, a lot of reforms. It's a great little lock up and go. It's about a two and a half bedroom, I would say. This being one of the bedrooms. Just a single here. You can see ready for your own light fixture there. This has all been redone, all new electrics. House in perfect condition, ready to enjoy. A little sitting area here. I think I'll give you a, a reverse angle on it. Give you a little better scope. All right, good little snug, little nook underneath the stairs there. Computer table. And you can see the tiles are a neutral beige. Very nice, nice and shiny. And the stairs going up. Nice man-made marble-like material. Nice wooden banister. You've got another sort of sitting, dining area in here. I mean, I can't imagine it's the width is more than about ooh, 10 feet. But as you can see, going back there, that's the garage door there, which actually takes you to a street behind. So there's two entrances into the property. And then here, the reverse angle of the dining sitting area. Kitchen's a good size, very basic cabinetry as you can see, but certainly for you know modern, up-to-date, good-looking cabinetry, you know, for a kitchen the size you'd probably be looking at, you know, say between three and four thousand euros, depending on the quality of the appliances, marble countertops, and so forth. And a nice contrasting tile here, kind of a rust brown color. Certainly neutral with the white tiles. And then continuing on here, a cute little Sivian patio. Keep some plants or so forth. Doghouse if you're in trouble. Of course it's drained and so forth. And then you've got the same tile work as we saw when we first came in. Here's a patron saint of Agridulce, San Bartolome. And you've got a window there onto the kitchen. Tiles change here. This looks like it's possibly some of the original. Kind of a dark brown. Bathroom again, you know, it has been redone, but certainly you could make it a little bit more, oh, I don't know, spruce it up a little bit. It's just got the shower room, or shower, I should say. And then a, a nice little contrasting tile there. Floral, decent sized. Remember, it is a lock up and go. I mean, this is something that you would probably want for vacations or having said that you're single or a couple of months out of the year you're going to be here it's kind of perfect wash area there it's plumbed in for your washing machine dryer hmm may have to get one of those stacking ones and if you like to do it the old style got the washboard <laughs> that's how they used to wash clothes here really not that long ago. Then you got a good patio here. And as you can see with your neighbor, you are allowed to go up a story. So this room here, it's a garage, but you could certainly second story it if you wanted for guest accommodation, workshop, whatever. It's very easy to street park here. Never have any problem with that. And as you can see, this has all recently been tiled, full drainage and so forth. You got some extra tiles here as well, which always comes in handy. 
and then a fully tiled garage, garage, cochera as it's called in Spanish. Right, decent size. <clears throat> and now you're onto a second street here, right? So you can either come in the front door as we did, or the back door. This has all been asphalted now. And those pines there lead to the town cemetery, and then from there, as you can see in the distance, you've got nothing but olive grove. You can actually walk all the way to the neighboring town, which is El Rubio. Probably take you a good couple of hours, but certainly a nice walk through the olive groves. Very peaceful, as you can see. This is just agricultural storage, tractors, threshers, and so forth. There's a local nursery here for olive trees. And as you can see, a lot of people with these garages have uh, gone up a story. Like your neighbor here, so I don't know exactly what's up there. Looks like it could be storage, right? They've got their solar hot water. Okay, now obviously this is a little bit wider, but as you can see, a lot of these here have taken advantage of a second story. Again, guest accommodation, storage, workshop, really unlimited as to what you can do. Let's take a look upstairs. There's a bedroom and a half up there. I would really call it a two bed, but interestingly enough, the half bed could very easily be a wardrobe, ensuite, if you want, because of course you do have the bedroom downstairs here, the single that we saw. Beautiful staircase, shiny. Right, so this is sort of the half bedroom. I think we'll probably have a better angle from the other direction. And here you've got the double, right? Very good size, certainly, as you can see with the double bed here. Give you a whip around here. Okay, it's a good size. And again, all new, all new electrics. You get your TV, your satellite connection there. Right, and then here we are. So this to me is just a great, uh, you know, really walk-in wardrobe, but it could also very easily be a washroom. Okay, all new aluminum uh, windows, as you can see here. Looks like it's single glaze, indeed. But you got blinds as well. And then looking back, get through the security bar here, right over the roof, and then into the garage area, just where the roof turns silver. Okay, I'd say overall it's about 70 square meters, maybe 75 square meters of living space. Asking price, 77,000 euros, which in today's Exchange rate is probably in the region of about 60 sterling, which is very good considering the condition, quality, outside space back there, not overlooked, and an absolutely perfect nick. Okay, thanks for watching. Keep on watching. Lots of videos uploaded all the time at www.antikara.com inland.com. Thanks for watching. Happy house hunting.